everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this easy thermal beanie, which you can see here in front of you as well. If you head on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, you'll find the full written instructions along with some other photos of this particular beanie. This is the easy thermal beanie. Uh, it's uh, an easy crochet pattern hat that's worked in the thermal stitch which is a very thick and warm stitch now the stitch even though it's quite dense has a great stretch to it making it a perfect stitch for working beanies and fingerless gloves in fact you'll find two other cro uh, three other crochet patterns at the moment uh, using the thermal stitch there's also a men's beanie fingerless gloves and an ear warmer if you'd like to check those out they're also here on my channel for this pattern today you're going to need a four millimeter crochet hook and I will be working with a lightweight yarn called Superwash Merino yarn by Lion Brand uh, it's part of their Lion Brand collection this is a 100% wool yarn it has that number three on the label and each of these balls uh, has approximately let me just see here uh, how much yarn in it. Uh, each one has approximately 306 uh, yards. There it is. 306 yards in it. So you're going to need about 400 yards, one and a half of these balls, for your hat. The pattern is currently available in one size, but if you would like to change the size of your beanie, uh, you can use any multiple of stitches for your foundation chain. So uh, let's jump in and learn how to crochet our easy thermal beanie. Our beanie today is worked in rounds and I should have mentioned at the beginning you're also going to need uh, a stitch marker. It's not 100% necessary but I find uh, it quite helpful for marking my stitch so that it doesn't get lost within the pattern. So you'll need a stitch marker. While you're here I also invite you to subscribe. So we're going to start by making our slip knot and then by working a foundation chain of 120 chains. Again, if you'd like to change the size of your beanie, you can start off with any multiple of stitches. Once you have worked 120 chains, which uh, works out to about a 21 inch circumference, it fits uh, myself, uh, an adult woman. So you're going to then simply join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, just being careful not to twist your chain. And when you join, you're going to want to make sure that that V is facing upward. So you want to join under the top two loops of your stitch. Then for round one, you're going to chain one and working under the back loops only, beginning with the same stitch that you joined in, work a single crochet. So single crochet in that same stitch is joining and in each all the way around. It's a little bit finicky when you first start off and you want to work in the back loops only. This is going to set us up for working our thermal stitch. So go ahead, single crochet, working in the back loop only in each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, uh, you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch and I'll show you how to mark it with the stitch marker when I come around. Now once you come all the way around, you're going to want to make sure once again that it's not twisted. And we're going to join with a slip stitch in this first stitch. Now before we join with it, uh, because sometimes what happens is this first stitch pulls really tight and then you can't see the loops that you're supposed to be working into. So what I like to do is before I join, simply hook your stitch marker through the front loop of the stitch you just worked as well as the front loop of your foundation chain down below and eventually I'll show you in the next round that it will be the stitch down below 
So you want to hook your stitch marker through the front loop of the uh, first stitch and the stitch two rows below. And then at that time, join with a slip stitch working under both loops, just like so, chain one and turn your work. Now I find for these first rows or rounds, it's easiest if you don't turn your work, normally you'd turn it like this and then work. Uh, I still like to keep it for the, at least for these first rounds, kind of facing forward so that it's easy to see because we're going to start working a thermal stitch. To work your thermal stitch, you're going to insert your hook through the, it would be the back loop only once you've turned your work. So the back loop only of that first stitch and then down into the back loop only of the stitch directly below it. So in this case, it's our foundation chain. So you're inserting your hook through that back loop only of the next stitch and of the stitch two rows below. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. That's your thermal stitch. I'll show you. We're going to, uh, once again, we're going to continue, insert your hook in the next stitch, back loop only, extend down under the back loop only of the next stitch, two rows below, which is your foundation chain, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're going to work thermal stitches all the way around, making sure that you are getting every stitch. So again, you should have 120 stitches at the end of this round and make sure that you're not skipping any stitch in the round two rows below. You want these stitches to be nice and even. When you come around to your first stitch, uh, once again, I'll show you how to mark it and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Once you come around at the end of your round two, you come to your final stitch, you've marked it with the stitch marker, so you can simply insert your hook there under those two loops, work the stitch, you're then going to remove your stitch marker, go to the first stitch in, uh, in that round, insert your stitch marker again under the front loop of that first stitch, and the stitch two rows below, and it's going to mark your place. Next, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. Again, for these early rounds, I kind of, when I turn my work, I like to kind of turn it vertically so that I can still see the stitches that I'm working in. We're now, for the next portion of the pattern, going to work uh, 50 more rounds. So you want a total of 52 rounds. 50 rounds of thermal stitch. So beginning in your first stitch, insert your hook under the back loop only of that next stitch and the stitch two rows below. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. That's your thermal stitch. Continue that all the way around and you're going to work 50 more rounds of thermal stitch. At the end of each round, you're joining with a slip stitch, just as I showed you there, uh, marking your stitch, chaining one, and turning your work. So go ahead, work your rounds three through to 52, and uh, then meet me back here. Once you have worked your 52 rounds of thermal stitch, you're going to have a piece that looks just like this. And you're ready to start the decrease rounds in the top of your hat. So to work the decrease rounds, you've uh, chained one. You're going to turn your work. You'll be working, uh, you'll then work a thermal stitch into that first stitch and into each of the next seven stitches. So you want to have a total of eight thermal stitches. Eight 
You're then going to work a thermal stitch two together. To work your thermal stitch two together, you're going to insert your hook under the back loops only of the next stitch and the stitch two rows below. Yarn over and drop a loop. Repeat that into the next stitch. Insert your hook in the back loop only of the next stitch and the stitch two rows below. Yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through three loops. You're then going to repeat that thermal stitch in each of the next eight stitches. and thermal stitch two together. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Chain one and turn your work. At the end of your first round, you've joined with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work around with alternate thermal stitch two togethers in them. So what happens when we're working the round in one direction, you end up with fewer stitches on this top row than you do on the bottom. So now we have to even that off. So what you're going to do is the first stitch that you're going to work is an alternate thermal stitch two together. To work that, you're going to insert your hook under the back loop only of that uh, stitch right below. And then into the stitch that is uh, back loop only of the stitch two rows below. Yarn over and draw up a loop. You're then going to insert your hook again into the next stitch but only uh, a back loop only of the next stitch but only of the next stitch two rows below. Yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. You're then going to work one thermal stitch in each of the next eight stitches. And repeat. Uh, alternate thermal stitch two together inserting your hook through the back loop only of the stitch below and then two rows below yarn over draw a loop then insert your hook back loop only of the stitch the next stitch two rows below yarn over draw a loop yarn over pull through all three then work one thermal stitch in each of the next eight stitches and repeat you're going to continue to do that all the way around your beanie and then join with the slip stitch in the first stitch chain one and turn your work. For round three of our decrease rounds, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to, for round three, you're going to work one thermal stitch into each stitch all the way around. So now we're just working straight thermal stitches. There's no decreases. Simply work one thermal stitch into each stitch all the way around. Join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round four, you've chained one, turn your work. You're going to thermal stitch into the first stitch and then into each of the next uh, six stitches. You'll have seven stitches there all together. You're then going to thermal stitch two stitches together over uh, the next two stitches. Thermal stitch in each of the next seven stitches. And 
and thermal stitch two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, join with the slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round five, you've chained one, turn your work. You're going to work an alternate thermal stitch two together over those first two stitches, followed by one thermal stitch into each of the next seven stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around one alternate thermal stitch two together uh, over the next two stitches and then one thermal stitch in each of the next seven stitches. Uh, once you come all the way around to the beginning, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round six of our decrease, you've chained one, turn your work. You're simply going to work one thermal stitch into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your final stitch, you can uh, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round seven, you're going to thermal stitch into your first stitch and then into each of the next five stitches. So you want to work six all together. Next, you're going to thermal stitch two together. Thermal stitch in each of the next six stitches. And thermal stitch two together. Repeat that all the way around when you come to the first stitch join with a slip stitch in that first stitch chain one and turn for round eight you're going to work an alternate thermal stitch two together followed by a thermal stitch in each of the next six stitches alternate thermal stitch two together followed by a thermal stitch in each of the next six stitches. You're going to repeat this all the way around and then join with a slip stitch in that first stitch, chain one and turn your work. For round nine, you should uh, be starting to see your decrease forming quite nicely now in the top of your hat. For round nine, you've chained one and turned your work. You're now going to simply thermal stitch into each stitch all the way around. Uh, when you come to that first stitch, join with a slip stitch. In that first stitch, chain one and turn your work. For round 10, you're going to thermal stitch in each of the first five stitches. followed by a thermal stitch two together. 
You're going to repeat that all the, all the way around, thermal stitch in each of the next five stitches, followed by a thermal stitch two together. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round 11, you're going to start off by working an alternate uh, thermal stitch two together over those first two stitches, followed by a thermal stitch in each of the next five stitches. Repeat that, an alternate thermal stitch, two together in the next, over the next two stitches, and then a thermal stitch in each of the next five stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch and chain one and turn your work. For round 12, you're going to thermal stitch into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way around. When you come to that first stitch, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round 13, you're going to thermal stitch in each of the first four stitches. And then thermal stitch two stitches together. Repeat that thermal stitch in each of the next four stitches. And thermal stitch two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around when you come to your first stitch. Join with a slip stitch in that first stitch chain one and turn your work. For round 14 you're going to work an alternate thermal stitch two together into those first two stitches followed by a thermal stitch in each of the next four stitches. Repeat that, work an alternate thermal stitch two together over those next two stitches, followed by a thermal stitch in each of the next four stitches. Repeat that all the way around until you come to your first stitch. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch and chain one and turn your work. For round 15, you're going to thermal stitch into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch in that first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round 16, you're going to thermal stitch in each of the first three stitches. And then thermal stitch two stitches together. Thermal stitch in each of the next three stitches. And thermal stitch two stitches together. Repeat this all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round 17, you're going to begin with an alternate thermal stitch, two together. Followed by a thermal stitch in each of the next three stitches. Repeat that 
alternate thermal stitch two together followed by a thermal stitch in each of the next three stitches repeat it all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch for round 18 you're going to thermal stitch into that first stitch and then continue working thermal stitches in each stitch all the way around when you come to your first stitch join with the slip stitch into that first stitch chain one and turn your work for round 19 you're going to thermal stitch in each of the first two stitches and then thermal stitch two stitches together thermal stitch in each of the next two stitches and then thermal stitch two stitches together repeat that all the way around when you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch in that first stitch chain one and turn your work for round 20 you're going to work an alternate thermal stitch in each of the first two stitches and then thermal stitch in each of the next two stitches work an alternate thermal stitch over the next two stitches and a thermal stitch in each of the next two stitches repeat that all the way around join with the slip stitch in your first stitch and uh, chain one and turn your work for round 21 thermal stitch into your first stitch and then into each stitch all the way around the top of your hat will be coming together quite nicely now we just have a few rounds left of our decrease rounds once you come all the way around join with a slip stitch into your first stitch chain one and turn your work for round 22 you're going to work a thermal stitch into that first stitch and then thermal stitch two stitches together repeat that thermal stitch into the next stitch and then thermal stitch two stitches together repeat it all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch chain one and turn your work for round 23 begin with an alternate thermal stitch two together in those first two stitches and then thermal stitch in the next stitch repeat that alternate thermal stitch two together followed by a thermal stitch in the next stitch repeat it all the way around join with the slip stitch into your first stitch for round 24 you're going to simply thermal stitch in each stitch all the way around join with your slip stitch in your first stitch chain one and turn your work then you're going to work round 25 which is a thermal stitch two together I'm not going to show you that on camera but we've uh, been doing it for a while now and uh, you should have the hang of it so round 25 is a thermal stitch two together all the way around round 26 alternate thermal stitch two togethers all the way around then you have one final round your round 27 which will be a thermal stitch in each stitch all the way around once you've done that and worked around 27 meet me back here we're going to fasten off leaving a long tail and then finish the top of our hat so once you've worked to the end of round 27 you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch and fasten off leaving a little bit of a long tail you're then going to taking your yarn needle and when I do this I like to turn my hat inside out
and you're going to simply weave your needle in and out through those top stitches around the opening there Once you come all the way around, you can simply pull that closed and secure. And then go ahead and weave in any ends. Once you've done that, turn your hat right side out. There we go. You can add a pom-pom if you'd like. Perhaps a tag. I had some printed off for uh, my own hats. And uh, you're all set to go. Your easy winter beanie is complete. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe. Take a look around. There's lots of other hats. Uh, on here as well I have a thermal stitch beanie for men uh, that's on my channel and uh, a pair of fingerless gloves which would go quite well with this beanie pattern so until next time happy crocheting bye mm -hmm.